many are describing Hamas's surprise incursion as Israel's 9-11. The death toll jumped dramatically as hundreds of young people who were at a party in a forest near Gaza apparently were killed. The Israeli army said more than 100 Israelis were kidnapped and taken to Gaza. Among them, the elderly women and children, including 85-year-old Yafa Adar. Her granddaughter, Adva, told journalists what happened. We started to look for her, and we found videos in uh, Facebook that uh, the Hamas uh, posted that uh, show clearly how they're taking her. She's 85 years old, ill, um, taking her to Gaza uh, for uh, men uh, with guns and her. Um, I can not even start to imagine how scared and how uncomfortable she was. Again, she's 85. Uh, she's sick. She has no, uh, no medicine with her. Hamas declared victory and cited military achievements against Israel. He says Hamas is fighting heroically and piling up the dead and injured on several fronts. The Al-Qassam brigades, the military wing of Hamas, said on the Telegram messaging app that Hamas fired more rockets at Tel Aviv Saturday night through dawn Sunday in retaliation for Israel bombing a residential tower in Gaza City. Al-Qassam brigade said they're providing fortifications, mortar shells and rockets to support militant forces operating in the field. Israel continued to bombard Gaza with airstrikes that have killed hundreds of Palestinians. Israel says it has taken dozens of Hamas gunmen as prisoners. The Hamas attack came as a surprise to the Israeli military establishment. It's a huge failure of the, um, of the intelligence system and the uh, military uh, apparatus in the south. It's combined together with, and um, all the investigations will be done after the war, not now. For now, Israel has launched a major call-up of reserves, and many analysts say Israel is preparing for a ground incursion into Gaza. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Jerusalem.